Hey guys. All the fans, everyone in the world. Um, uh, I turned on this live really out of the blue um, because uh, I, I uh, posted my dance video, uh, a video of me on TikTok and dance, and you know, someone made it. Uh, someone informed me about stuff that's been going on in the news, and you know, I looked more into it and. You know, first and foremost, I would like to apologize for putting up a dance video like that. That uh, you know, it's 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 hard times right now for people, you know, for for the black community right now in the states going through what you know what's going on right now. And and um, after being informed of that, uh, you know, I, I put up a post and. And I, I, you know, I researched it. I looked up videos. I looked up news articles. And um, the black community is going through so much right now. And I thought um, it would be something positive uh, for me to use my pa platform to um, uh, inform people who don't know about it, like how I was, I was uninformed, and, and let them know that things are going down like that. And you know, the black community is going through a lot of a lot of struggles and hardships right now it's a big endeavor and you know my heart went out to to george floyd r.i.p and i wanted to use the platform to put it up and one specific video i saw um it was a it was a black police officer talking about how he would have handled the, the, the situation differently and how he would have uh you know really just not let it happen like that you know and and, and and a part of me was like, you know, the police, racist police officers, that's not how, you know, like, that's not right. But seeing his point of view and how a black off police officer came out and started talking about how he would have handled the situation differently kind of just made me think, you know, there are still officers that are, you know, there's still officers out there that are that are putting a positive impact and trying to do good for the for the people and the community. So, with that in mind, I added something in my post saying, you know, but but to the noble officers, thank you. I had no intentions whatsoever to of saying all officers are noble. That police officers are noble. I just wanted to say to the ones that shouldn't feel guilty. You know, um, thank you for your service. But right now, I just apologize to everyone that was hurt by that because right now definitely was not the right time for that. And you know, all this racism going on right now, and 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 all the tragedies going around. You know, I just felt like I wanted. I just my only intention was to use my platform to to inform everyone. That racism is hurt. Racism is hurtful, and the black community is is going through a gang right now. So, you know, um, I have I'm I'm from Los Angeles. I came I come from a very multiracial, multi ethnic place, and I have black friends too. And if I were to ever feel like if I were to ever see or or hear about them going through any type of hate like that, let alone get killed because for their skin color, I think I don't even know what I feel. And you know, I just want to let everyone know. Um, for everyone that was hurt, I'm so sorry if, if, if that was, if it came off like that, but I had no intentions of calling all officers noble. I, you know, it's, it's just like that. Yeah. So, I mean, before, you know, before a word gets taken out of context and, you know what I mean? I, I kind of wanted to address that and, you know. This movement is crazy, and I just, I just, I just hope the world, I hope the world can 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 find its way to find justice for for the cops that did that, and for not only them, for all cops, and not only cops, but any racist person that that just is driven like that to put hurt on someone for the color of their skin. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Yeah. Uh, 
just want to get that off my chest. Um, you know, George Floyd. I looked more into it. There, there, there are countless people who get who get murdered by cops for absolutely no reason, and you know, yeah, that's just that's just a tragedy, bro. Um, let alone get get arrested and you know be convicted for something they didn't do and yeah um, I, I hope I hope uh, the movement that's going around that's going on right now in the states can really help get rid of all that toxic to- toxic toxic racism out here you know so I'm like going through kind of anxiety right now so it's, it's kind of hard to talk but R.I.P. R.I.P. George Floyd, and uh, I just hope uh, the black community, you know, I pray for the best for you, for the black community, and yeah. All right, guys.